Morning guys, today is April 1st and that means it's time for my weigh-in. So I stepped on the scale and this is what it said. So as you can see, that is technically a gain of 0.9 pounds, but wait, right? So let's talk about a couple of things. Number one, was I annoyed to see that? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I was. Like, no one wants to step on the scale to see it up from their previous official weigh-in, but guess what? Here's the lesson, you guys. I stepped on the scale two days ago, and I was two pounds down. So technically, if I would've made this video two days ago, I would've netted a loss, and that would've been an indication that I was doing things right, right? No, the scale is just a snapshot of one particular day. It means nothing in the long run if you are continuously working to improve yourself. My good friend Chella, aka Foodie Turn Sleevey, posted her weigh-in video a couple of weeks ago, and when I was watching it, I was just like, oh my god, this is exactly how I feel. Chella talks about how, yeah, she might be a pound or two up, but like, you're not too worried because you know you're doing everything right. And that's what it comes down to, okay? The scale will follow, the weight loss will follow, but just do what you can control, okay? Eat right, exercise, do the things that you know are gonna make you feel good, and that way the number on the scale won't really matter that much. Also, I know for a fact that there are some things that I did this past month that like I've already worked to correct and are setting me in the right direction. So number one, I switched to total carbs in the middle of the month because I could just tell that with all the Atkins bars and all the Quest bars and all the treats that I was eating during the week, it was really just causing me to have cravings and causing me to not be honest about how much I was eating. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna cut them out and guess what? I'm doing great. I haven't had an Atkins bar in three weeks. Who cares? Like. You forget what you can go without, you know? You forget what you can get used to. And so I encourage you, if you're just falling into a routine, but you're not reaching your full potential or doing as well as you know you can be, just change your habits, okay? Identify the thing that's setting you back and chuck it out of there. Also, another change I've made. I've been lifting weights this month. Look at this. Look at this. What? What? And you mean to tell me that I'm 0.9 pounds up and that some of that's not muscle at all, you know? So like, I know my body recomp is changing, and then I know that I'm just generally eating more, which honestly, I'm gonna be tapering over the next few months, but like, weight gain isn't a bad thing when it's still working with you toward your goals. So that's the lesson that I want you to take away and myself. Like, I don't want you to think that, oh, she's gaining weight and she doesn't care. Like, no, 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 I care, don't get me wrong, but, it's just not the most important thing. When you think about where you started and how you used to be a slave to food and how you felt like you would never get it under control, but now you feel capable and strong and accomplished. Even though I'm not back where I was, you guys, I'm like 25 pounds up from my lowest weight and I wanna get back down there, but I know that this time I have to do it in a sustainable way that's not gonna cause me to go off the rails as soon as I hit the number. Uh, if you don't know, I got down to my lowest around July of last year when I did Deeper State Keto, which is an awesome program. I mean, an awesome program, but my mindset wasn't ready. It was, it's a 90-day program, and in typical challenge fashion, the day that it was over, I went on like a two week long binge. I was just like, yeah, I was so strict. Now I get to reward myself and literally undo everything that I spent the previous 90 days working for. That makes sense. <laughs> so even though the program was very helpful, I just know that I need to do that, but in a slower pace, in a less restrictive way, and in a way that's gonna make it sustainable. And so honestly, I'm okay with my way in, and I know that I've already been putting the habits in place that are gonna lead to my success in May. And I'm not looking for a number. I'm not looking for like, okay, if I lose five pounds, then that'll make it okay. Like, no, I just wanna keep being the best version of myself that I can be. I wanna keep wearing these tank tops. I wanna keep having this clavicle right here. Like, I don't care about the number, you know? Like, I am reaching my goals and I'm feeling great about it. So I encourage you, if the number's not looking like what you want it to right now, Give it time. Just focus on the things you can control and it will follow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next month. Let's do this. What? Let's reach our goals. What? 2019. I just got way too crunk, but like, 
just get pumped, okay? Like we're changing our lives. Like I'm done, okay, bye y'all. <laughs>